The White House and House Republicans have just a matter of days to avert a catastrophic debt ceiling default. As time runs out, both sides reportedly inching closer to an agreement while reassuring talks have been productive, yet there's still no deal at this point. If federal assistance is halted, experts say people with disabilities, seniors and veterans would be the first to suffer. ABC's M. Wen has more. The White House and House Republicans scrambling to strike a deal with just six days to go until a potentially devastating U.S. default. And it's time for Congress to act now. The president reassuring Americans he's had several productive conversations with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and that they've been making progress. They've all agreed there will be no default. But top Republican negotiators say debt ceiling talks remain difficult. These are thorny issues that have to be resolved. Republicans are demanding deep spending cuts, including budget caps and stricter work requirements for some federal programs like food stamps, which Democrats have called a non-starter. The GOP also want to increase military spending and rescind billions of dollars of COVID-19 funds, which the president said he's open to including. We know where our differences are on both sides. We just need to be able to finish those out. The Treasury Secretary again warning a default could lead to another recession, plummeting 401ks and delayed Social Security payments. Uh, without Social Security and SNAP, uh, not only would we be homeless, my goodness, we wouldn't have money to buy food. But when asked whether there was another plan in place, should the nation reach its borrowing capacity, the uh, Deputy Treasury uh, Secretary said this on CNN. We don't have a plan B that allows us to meet the commitments that we've made to our creditors, to our seniors, to our veterans, to the American people. Amid this Memorial Day recess, lawmakers have been told by leaders to be prepared to return to Washington immediately if a deal is struck. Speaker McCarthy insists members need at least three days to consider the final agreement. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.